Hi everyone. Uh, this topic will talk about Delta CMM uh, or CMC EIP function card configuration. Basically, we will do the configuration through uh, DCI SOAP. So first of all, you have to select the interface uh, to Ethernet. And after that, we can click the search and then you will show the card in the network. So uh, first step, we click this one, uh, select Ethernet and then click uh, search and wait until the result come out. Okay, after that, uh, you can check the basic information of the drive and the function card, the firmware version and the IP address from, uh, from overview. After that, uh, you can uh, check the, or modify the IP address uh, from basic, and you can also change the name. And another one is for the email alarm setting. So basically, uh, if you want to use this function, you must connect to the SMTP server. That means really can send out the email. And then you can set the condition example like uh, error code and equal to certain value. Then you can define the command is a free run, quick stop or stop. And then you can set up the email address. Okay, so we double click. So from over here, you can see uh, the AC motor drive, uh, input power, a voltage, and uh, how many horsepower for the firmware version, uh, function card, uh, firmware version, and the IP address. So you can modify the IP address and uh, keep a light time from here. This one is the set the SMTP server, as I mentioned. So you can set the different condition. Next will be the IP filter, then will be the parameter list and the monitor function. Okay, so IP filter, this one up to your application. Uh, come to parameter list and the monitor, this one basically uh, you have to use these two uh, function together. First you have to go to monitor, then uh, uh, press uh, start monitor, then you can add on the new parameter you want to uh, monitor. Okay, so let's show you an example over here. So we click the start monitor first, and then we can go back to the parameter list. Uh, example, now we want to monitor uh, this tool. So we can click apply. Okay, then click OK. So after that, here you can see uh, we have add on another tool or parameter can um, monitor from the list. Okay, and this one we already add on the digital uh, I/O control and do the monitor function from here. Okay. And uh, next will be the permission and stop dry condition. So here you can set up the condition that uh, you will when uh, timeout detection or you will stop the motor drive. And here you can set some uh, condition over here. Next will be the backup and restore. And final one will be the security function. Okay, so now we can switch here so you can also set up the only one master, only master, okay? Then this one is the timeout detection. And then will be the AC motor drive, stop. And then uh, for the Ethernet IP and mobile TCP timeout setting, here will be the uh, backup to file. So you can uh, pick up the file, and then this one is for restore from file, okay? Final one is uh, security. So you can modify the password over here or go to the factory setting. So basically that's all for uh, this topic. Uh, thank you.